Hey friends, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Becca and in today's video we're going to take a look at three different sewers clubs boxes. There's the April and the May project box as well as a brand new subscription box that they're launching for their Fat Quarter Club, which I will put all the details and a link in the first comment down below this video. So if you want to hop over and check that out, you can. I also want to tell you that if you use my link to sign up for this box, you will get 20% off of your first box for either of these subscription services. Also, one more thing before I jump into this, I want to let you know that the winner for the March box is actually Nancy Gus. So congratulations, Nancy. I'm going to send the March box off to you in the mail. So you should be getting that real soon. If I'm being honest, I don't know which one's which. So I'm just going to open them one at a time and we'll go through it together. This one is April. And it looks like for the April, we're going to make a lovely lavender apron. Awesome. Let me show you everything that's downside this box. The first thing that we have is a sewing notion. This is a bobbin boat. It's a half size kind of like circle shape, looks like a boat. And you can put your bobbins down inside here to keep them all nice and tidy. We have another must have notion. And I usually keep these by at least the half dozen, because they always tend to walk off. This is a purple thing. This is a notion that has a pointy tip at the top that you can use to guide your fabric under your needle. You can also use it to push out corners and do lots of other things. You have a little tab up here that measures exactly a quarter inch, and then there's a slit on the side that you can use for casing. These are extremely useful. We have a spool of white Guterman thread that is 100% polyester, so you'll be able to use this in your project. And then the fabric that they chose for us this month, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. We have this lovely fabric line that I kind of all coordinates together and gives you that lovely lavender apron. And because it took me so long to do the unboxing for April and announce who the winner was for March, I'm actually gonna put this in Nancy's package as well. So she will get the March box plus the April box just for being so patient and being the lucky winner. By the way, I did hear from the ladies over at Sewers Club and they actually told me that the video link and password that's on this card, if you are the lucky winner of my box, you can use that to actually watch the video tutorial. So if you didn't know, Sewers Club doesn't just give you the project in a box with the extra notions. They actually give you the project plus access to a password protected pattern that you can use to follow along and make your own project. Nancy, I hope you enjoy making the tote bag from last month and the apron from this month. Box number two. This is the exciting brand new Fat Quarter subscription box. And you can see down inside, these are all of the Fat Quarters that they picked for me. You can choose between, I think, 5, 10, and 15 different Fat Quarters. But all the information is going to be on their website, again, in the first comment down below this video. The nice thing that I like about this box is I've got a card that tells me what each of my fabrics are inside because... If you're getting fat quarters, you don't always get enough of the selvage or maybe even sometimes the side with the selvage that tells you about that print. So this is really helpful. Check out what they did. It's a card that tells you your fat quarters from left to right and it lists out what they are. So let me show you one at a time what each one is. And I'll give you the name. So if this is something that you want to pick up, you totally can. The first one that we have is a Colorworks Premium Solid. We have Color Me Banyan, and this is from Banyan Batiks. This is another Banyan Batik, and this is called Roundabout Teal. There is another Colorworks Premium Salad, and this is in the teal colorway. This is Sugar Crystals. This one is Neutrinas Impala. This is Pink Mini Flora. This is a Colorworks Premium Salad in purple. We have Cranberry Chutney. Stardust Amethyst Marble. I really like this one and I could totally get some yardage of it. This is Northern Lights in Peach. We have a Shibori in red. I've seen this done in blue, but I've actually never seen it in red. And this is really pretty. This is Colorfall in red. We have another Clothworks Premium Salad. This is in red. 
And then the last one that we have is really cool. It's a black and red combination. And it's Aliyah, a lot. I'm not even sure if I can pronounce that correctly, but it says Aliyah or Alila red roses. However you pronounce that. These are all of the lovely fabrics that were down inside my box. There are four salads and 11 batiks, which I love. And I actually, so that's the fat quarter club from Sower's Club. If you are interested, definitely check it out. Like I said, I love that they did this. This makes a lot of sense to me. And I never would have thought to do that. We only have one box left, which means it's got to be the May Project box. Let's dive in and see what they sent. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm not giving this one away. I'm actually going to make it for me. <laughs> Take a look. This is going to be great. For May, we have the linen double pocket side bag using two coordinated fabrics from Harmony Line by Figo Fabrics. And on this card, there is a link with a password to a video tutorial that will walk you through this project. But if you are confident and you don't need a video, you can just follow the instructions in the pattern. This pattern will have everything that you need to get the project going. In addition to all of the fabric and hardware that we need to put this bag together, we have some notions. We have two spools of thread, a cream and a brown. Not a big brown person, so we'll have to see if this fabric is something that I use or if I reach for maybe some of the fat quarters that were in my box for the Fat Quarter Club to make this. We'll have to see. These are polyester threads. They are known to hold up a little bit better than cotton. That said, I've made bags all the time with cotton thread and it's been just fine. But if you have polyester, why not use it? This is a notion I have actually never used. We have a package of die catchers. The idea here is that if you're using fabric that could bleed, you toss these into the wash and all of the color gets attracted to the die catcher while it's in the wash. So you don't have to worry about the fabric bleeding onto other fabric in the wash. That said, I have heard, again, I've never used these, but I have heard that these should never, never, never be used with batiks because the chemicals that are in the dye catchers will actually soak the dye out of the batik fabric for whatever reason. I don't know what it is, but I have heard that these will actually dull your batiks over time. So only use these with printed cotton. I've never used them. I've never had a problem with fabric bleeding, so I'm not even entirely sure that I will use them, but... I'll put them in my laundry room and we'll find out. Oh my goodness, we have a major notion. We have a 45 millimeter rotary cutter. This is a stick rotary cutter. So you pull this pink handle down to expose the blade and you push it back up to keep the blade nice and protected. If you don't know how to use a rotary cutter, boy, do I have a video for you. Up at the top of this video, I will link a video I did years ago about rotary cutting, and you can check out the different types of rotary cutters that I talk about in that video, but I actually won't use this because I use the Martelli rotary cutter almost exclusively. And if you wanna know more about that rotary cutter, I also have a video for you there. I'll link it up here. So you can hop over and check that video out. Okay, now it's time to show you the fabric and hardware that we got to put our bag together. First, we have our interfacing. This is a fusible. So one side is bumpy and the other side is nice and fluffy. We have some D-rings and some lobster class. We have a button set, a magnetic button clasp set. We have two zippers. Our fabric is definitely linen, but it is also very decidedly brown. So I'm probably not going to use this fabric. I might source something from my own collection behind me to put together that bag. I am super excited to do it though. And I will put these in a giveaway pile too to use for a future giveaway. So those are the three boxes that I had waiting for me to open from Sewers Club. The April and May project box plus the brand new Fat Quarter subscription. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the box overall. If you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!